Hello everyone, we will continue the topic TMG events and in the previous video, we finished with our coding part. Now for the best understanding, we will see everything in the debugging mode. Are we getting a expected output or not? So firstly, I will put a breakpoint. I'm putting a breakpoint on fifth number line. And we all know we can put a breakpoint on executable statements. Now I will go to that table. I will go to SM30 transaction port. I will click on to edit or maintain button. I will go to new entries. I will give some order number. Suppose I am saying six credit card. I am giving some total amount. I am giving currency. I am pressing enter. Have you seen? I stopped into the debugging mode. I will go to desktop three. Most preferable desktop. Now I am on fifth number line. On the fifth number line, we are checking table name hyphen O and O column name is not initial. Just double click. Have you seen? We are getting the value, but the value we passed six. Is this is not initial? Yes. This is not initial. Is not initial means was what is not null is not blank. So is this variable is not none? Yes. So this if condition is true, I'm doing F6. Now you can see I'm on sixth number line. So now this if condition is true and I'm inside the if condition. Now inside this, this particular, in this particular line, what we have written? We are passing the system date to order date column of the table. What is the system date? If you see, today's date is 3rd August. SAP is storing the date in this format. YYYY. Then we have MM and then we have TD. So 3rd August. 3rd August, we are passing to order date. 3rd August, we are passing to order date. If I will simply come out through F8 key, you can see 3rd August appeared automatically. We have not done anything. Customer has not done anything. So this date appeared automatically. If I will simply, simply go for save, done. Now, now next scenario. As of now, we saw for single order number. Now, maximum people ask, suppose I'm going for multiple order number. I'm going for seven, eight, suppose nine order number, 10 order number. I'm going for multiple order numbers. And I'm simply, simply choosing the payment mode. I'm giving total amount. And I'm just giving the currency. Because it might be the case customer is putting multiple entries, multiple new entries. It is not, we cannot restrict customer to go for single entries. Now I'm pressing enter. So I put seven, eight, nine, ten. Have you seen first time which order number came? Seven. We put that date. I'm doing F8. Have you seen next time which order number came? Eight. We are again putting the date. Next time which order number came? Nine. We put the system date. Now next time which order number came? Ten. And we put the system date. Now, okay. So it is... It is calling for every new entry. 
So if customer is passing 20 new entries also, so that logic is triggering for each and every entry. So there's nothing to worry. I will, I will simply, simply go for save. Now, third scenario. Customer is putting multiple entries. Suppose 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, we are going for suppose debit card. We are going for five new entries. Now, we are going for suppose some total amount. I am going for 500. I am going for 500. I am going for 500. I'm going for 500. I'm putting INR. Suppose I'm putting currency. Now, what many people will ask, suppose I'm not pressing enter, then what will happen? As of now, what we are doing? After creating the new entries, we are pressing enter. Now, it might be the case Customer is not putting enter and customer is simply, simply clicking on to save button. In that case also, there's nothing to worry for us. Yes. So SAP will automatically recognize, yes, these are the new entries. If I will go for save, I have not pressed enter. The C11, date 12, if I will do F8. 12, we are passing date. 13, we are passing date. 14, we are passing date. 15, we are passing date. And you can see everything is saved and order date appeared automatically. So it is working for each and every scenario. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we understood the full flow in the debugging mode. If user is going for single entry and pressing enter, still we are getting the output because it is a new single new entry. If user is going for multiple new entries and pressing enter, yes, that logic will trigger multiple times because we have multiple new entries. Suppose user is not pressing any enter, user is directly clicking on to save button. But yes, those entries are new entries. So there's nothing to worry for us. Our logic will trigger and it will put the order date for each and every record. So that is the full topic of our TMG event. And we took the example of creating a new entry. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.